Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this quick Elementor Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a custom message when a post widget query is empty. By default, Elementor Pro doesn't have an option to display a message when a post feed is empty. So in this example, if I just start to type in something that is going to return no results, this is what happens right here. The grid just goes away with no custom message. So if you want to have a way where you can add a custom message like this, so when you do the same results, it will come back with something. So at least the user knows that there's no results found. After doing some research, I found this GitHub uh, issue that's been open since 2019. And within here, um, a few people gave a few different solutions on how to fix this. So in this example, I'm going to show you this right here, how to add this little function into your WordPress website and make it where it's really easy to add a message like this. Let's just jump right into it. The first thing I recommend is installing this plugin if you don't know how to edit your functions file. Go ahead and install this right here called Code Snippets. This is going to give you the option to add uh, custom functions to your website. So you need to be able to add PHP code to make all this work. So once you have that installed and activated, you can go ahead into the plugin right underneath Snippets. You can go to All Snippets, click Add New. As you can see, I already got this one right here. So you could do a whole bunch of snippets, which is what I like about this uh, plugin. Once you add that in there, just give it a title. I just call this one Elementor Functions. And this is the code that you need right here. It's basically just a direct copy from the GitHub. So I did a few of these other examples, but this one works the best. So once you go ahead in here, you just add your snippet. And if you want, you can change this right here where it says no results found. This is the text that's going to display right here. And you can see I have inline, I have an H1 tag and I just centered it. So if you know a little CSS, you can just add that right here and it's going to show these words when the query is empty. So you would just hit save and activate. Now you can jump over into a page that has one of your uh, post feeds. So in this case, I just have a feed with three uh, posts right here. And if I type in a word that I know is going to return no results, you're going to see it comes up automatically. And if I remove that, it should go back to how it was. And if you like this type of real-time uh, functionality, this is actually using uh, Jet Smart Filters from Crockleblock. I'm going to leave a link up here in the card and also in the description. I have a full in-depth tutorial on how to do this uh, type of functionality using Jet Smart Filters. And the other good thing is, let's say you're on the back end of an Elementor page, and let's say you go in here and do something like a manual selection. Now it's going to show that right within the editor, whereas before, when you didn't have that snippet enabled, it, did, it just showed like nothing. So this makes it really easy. So if you're trying to create a custom query, if it has no results, it's actually going to show no results found. So it's a little bit easier to troubleshoot or work with more advanced queries um, rather than just having a blank screen. And that's it for this short tutorial. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new Elementor tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.